Alfred Freddy Peters, owner of Freddy's Delight, wants the public to know that there is more to the community of Paz Avenue than just crime and violence. Peters' over 25-year-old food business is one of the oldest of the seven food establishments located in Paz Avenue. First, let me give thanks to the Most High God for bringing me this far. It's been a blessing along with the love that the customers continue to show me. Well, really and truly, you know, for my small, you know, it always had a stigma with Paz Avenue. And I reach big money, it's still, it's still the same. So there's nothing much, 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 much I can say. If you look around there, you see a lot of business places. A lot of business places. A lot of traffic. A lot of vehicle parking in here. But just have these few. They just have these few would go about the, you know, this, this crime, this violence, violence and crime. But in general, I don't think we have a lot of people involved in crime in, in Paul's Avenue. That's just my thought of it. Yeah. We got from small, from ever since I know, there's this stigma that Paul's is a bad place. And people are afraid to come around. But when, you think, when people come to town, they're looking for something to eat. In, is in Paul's Avenue the first place you use help? They're still heading. Because there's a lot of business, there's a lot of food place around. I've been it been with this over 20 years. Over, 20 years. Over, over, over 25 years, over 25, over 25 years. But it's a it's a long story. Must give thanks to Yellow Man, because was he used to do sandwich in the Orleans. Um the owner for Pirates Club. Pirates Club. Yeah. yeah. He used to do sandwich in the back in the other street. Mm -hmm. And me now at the time he used to be working at Star Garage. And at night time we used to go down there and get the sandwich. But like a couple of years after, he closed down and I lost my job. And within the whole process before that, they had some shops outside Lottery. About four or five shops, three or four shops outside Lottery. Where Jaman must give all respect to him. We had a team named Natty Jets and he was the captain. So when I lost my job, I went to him and said, I oh, know, and all trying to oh, start up something. Which he gave me the opportunity. And from there, like I said, with the love of the people and the blessings, that has kept me going. And I wake up, I give the most high thanks for speaking me life to see another day. And after that, I normally drink water, which is three glasses of water, every morning before I do anything else. Then I get into my business now, which why, which why they had to cut up. It's getting to people. The PPA and everything before the customer actually customers them actually come because it's a hustle by cutting up, cutting up. So by the time I just wake up like like say quarter past five every morning and get started. So that when the customer then come they could just easy flow, you just have an easy flow. Call the party one thing, you know, and I organize one. What time is normally your busiest time? It all depends, you know. It all depends. Because sometimes you hear up to half past eight and you might see one or two customers after 10 then I see, I see a lot of, you know a few people start trickling in you know but it, it, it all depends on the, the day and the time of the morning still Peters described the contents of his menu and probably added that most of his ingredients are sourced locally what's on your menu? What do you have? cheese sandwich tuna sandwich I have a menu up there cheese sandwich Tuna sandwich, egg, egg and cheese, tuna, tuna and cheese, spam, spam egg and cheese. And I can get, <laughs> I can get spam and egg. <laughs> Two years after I start my business, a gentleman introduced me, which is Kai brother, introduced me to a lady named Miss Little in the old market. Up to this day, I'm still buying from her. She, actually, she's homesick now. But her daughter take over. So they is why they is why I get my most of my I mean I support in the I support the others in the market. But Miss Little is why I mostly get all my vegetables from. Cause they, they actually look out for you and make sure you get you get the best. And that's where you want. And that's where you want and that's where the customers. Like and, and I just say a thing. You want the money. But I always put people health first. Right. And that's my, my my thing. I always put people health first. Seriously, because a lot of people get into business because they see someone set up something and the quick money 
a lot of time people you say they eat stuff and they get sick. But my thing is, even we're doing food for people, I always put people health first. The money is important, but put people health first. And another thing too, even when people when even when no one is looking, I always do the right thing. After 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 25 years, I still try and because that thing it could add on it, you know. That's still the good thing, yeah, yeah. So eggs, everything fresh. Yeah, yeah. The businessman says he does not plan on making any changes to the business, and he's looking forward to continue serving his customers in the future. I like I like this small tomorrow like this small business. Do you plan to keep it going? Yes. This is a little much when God says it. <laughs> but I started out. My nephew used to help me, but he right now he's in the British Army. And I had this young lady by the name of Dana. She in England. She in she gone away too. She in England too. She used to go to bishop school at the time. Then she came to me and saying, well, she, she wants some assistance, so she will come around and help me. And then I have my sister in Trinidad. Who normally like when I go away, she come up, she come across Jacqueline. She come across and help me out. But otherwise, most of the time, it's me alone. Yeah. What about people who are thinking of starting a business? What kind of encouragement or something you have to do? Well, if you have a dream and you have something that you want, a plan that you want to work on, get and start it, sometimes the money, the starting money does be hard sometimes. But what I'm saying, out there, it's not easy. Just follow your dream. And people who you talk to. Sometimes the best thing for you to do is you and whosoever you decide to cooperate with and follow your dream. Right. So is there anything else you like to add? Okay. Well, really and truly, no, I would just love to say thanks to my many, my many customers who continue to show me love. We've been going to St. Martin from since, from since in the early Somebody like Magali and they still come around and support me. And some others, I can't remember the name right now. St. Martin's Bishop College. Big respect to you all. Because you all been helping me along the way. You all been part of this journey. To my many customers, I must say, the fragrance and the mentally ill. You are part of this too because sometimes they, if they, 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 don't, they themselves not spend the money, someone spend it for them. Someone like okay and you pass by and make me make me for some lunch or something and <laughs> I bring it out papa. Yeah yes make for lunch and they, they, they buy it. But so I must give respect to the vagrants and the mentally ill. Big love to you too in everything because you've been part of this journey too. El Samuel for Searchlight Online.